San Antonio's east side is a neighborhood in transition. On nearly every corner, old meets new, an energetic juxtaposition reflecting a deeper change taking place across Texas. Gentrification and an influx of outsiders are shifting demographics across the state. But in this historically black and brown neighborhood, there's a desire to ensure the most vulnerable aren't left behind. Black and brown children are really struggling. They're struggling to find spaces that affirm their identities, that make sure that they feel safe. Akeem Brown believes the classroom can offer the support these children need, which is why he has spent the past three years trying to get a new charter school off the ground, one that is fine-tuned to the community it will serve. We will make sure that our students are on the right path and the right trajectory around behavior, right? Not penalizing them and sitting them out for wearing the wrong uniform or the way their hair is braided. He says the school was on track to win final approval from the Texas Education Agency last August, when it got swept up in a contentious battle over how race and racism are taught in the classroom. Education, not indoctrination. Lawmakers were quick to respond. Last year, the Republican-controlled state legislature passed what they dubbed the anti-critical race theory bill, laying out how Texas teachers can discuss current events and sensitive parts of American history, like racism and slavery. Soon after, Akeem says his application was put on hold, and he was asked to scrub a quote from Imbram X. Kendi's book, How to Be an Anti-Racist, off his website and equity statement. When you find anti-racism, and that may be a new word to some, I would always think that it's synonymous to words like love, justice, and peace. And I think for some people, they're just never going to be comfortable with those words. They don't believe that they belong in the classroom. One such person is Matt Rinaldi, chairman of the Republican Party of Texas. He believes terms like equity, social justice, and anti-racism are code words for something else. They're effectively being taught uh, Marxism mm -hmm. and that everything American stands for uh, is racist uh, and it's immoral. And the exact opposite is true. You, you can't have a functioning society when children are being taught in their government schools to hate their country. It's an accusation vehemently denied by the largest educator association in Texas. Managing attorney Paul Tapp says the group has received at least two complaints since the new law was enacted, but maintains critical race theory, or CRT, is not being taught in kindergarten through 12th grades. I'm afraid there's going to be a natural tendency towards, okay, we just don't want these kinds of complaints. So the easiest way is to gloss over these issues. And I do think that's sad. The Texas Education Agency is now requiring all new charter schools to submit a statement promising they won't teach CRT. Back on the east side of San Antonio, for education specifically, Akeem Brown says Essence Prep will open this coming fall. So every black and brown student that walks through its doors is celebrated, even without teaching CRT. Tony Waterman, CGTN, San Antonio, Texas.